Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here I come uh, to demonstrate my work, the way I do it. This is the method of work. I use beads as the sole material of painting to express whatever I have to paint to, to express. Here, what I do, I apply glue. It's called joy bond glue onto the fabric. And then I power a uh, bead onto the glue and eventually uh, rid off the residual beads and then remain with the glue to give the colors and tones for the purpose of building forms and structure to bring out the expression of the painting. This is the glue I use and now I apply it just slightly, just a small layer, because when I put a lot of it, it makes a very big um, layer, which I don't want. So when I apply a limited layer, then it gives me uh, the layer need to put whatever I want to put it. I put already some few beads before. These are the light beads. Now I'm putting in the dark beads. After putting there, the beads will get stuck, and then those ones which will not be embroidered into the glue will be uh, swept off so that I can remain with the bead that are going to make up the colors and tones I want. It's not a very difficult solution. These are beads I have. These are beads. And then I just put them there. And then I continue. Uh, this method was developed when I, I was using small dots. When I looked at the dots, are uh, the beads which are mixed, I found that I have these ready dots. And then I can just apply them without hassle. It takes a short time because you just put a segment by segment rather than having putting dot by dot if I was using pointillism. So it's a quicker method of, of putting down your expression just to build up the forms and tones and textures if you want. I'm just finishing up this piece of work which I had already begun on. So I'm putting on the the dark colors and to finish up all these uh, beads which I'm putting, uh, I'll sweep it off them off so that uh, I remain with those ones which are stuck. And when the glue dries, they will be embedded onto the material permanently. So your work will be a permanent piece of work made with beads because the, the, the glue is very strong and flexible enough because it doesn't even crack. That even if you roll the painting, nothing will get off. Obviously, a few beads will keep on getting off up to when the strong, the strong ones the, the ones which are fixed very strongly will remain, but mainly it's going to be a very strong piece of uh, art that is going to last years and years. I got this inspiration from the South African love of dots, whereby the Kosas and Zulus use small dots onto their faces to decorate themselves, especially when they have some rituals and ceremonies and then i got inspired by the vibrance of the society of south africa they are very bold people they don't fear anything so i use very bold colors i put a yellow the way it is i put a red where it is and i put very strong colors that one is emanated from the strong character and boldness of the South African community. They are not very docile, they are very, very dynamic people. 
the dynamism of color also comes from the sunset of South Africa. It's a very bright sunset. So the colors I bring out comes from, are emulated from the sunset of the horizon of South African skies in the evening, especially in, in summer and autumn. So those are a few inspiration that I got and I call this art South African art because it has been inspired by South African character and environment. So this is what I'm doing and then I, I, you've seen when um, I put off the residue painting, uh, uh, the residue beads whereby if I don't need, if they're not well embedded into the fabric, I sit them off like this and then I continue. I've already mapped out where I want what. Therefore, it's not just a guesswork, but uh, a well orchestrated plan of action. So I'm just uh, putting what I want put where I want put it to bring out the right tone, the light, uh, the right, the right color to bring out the forms and expression. Um, yes. Um, like this. This is what I'm putting up. Um, I do give some training, but when we are training, we first uh, give people a few lessons in basics of drawing. We call that the basic, the basic. And then we start applying the conventional color that we know. Then when we have learned on what put where, then we embark on this easy method of application of using beads as a medium of painting. Beads have been used in African societies in many aspects because they love them, especially to decorate their bodies. Some are, sometimes they are used as sexual or erotic uh, expressions by ladies who put the beads into their uh, uh, waists to, to please their action their husbands. Uh, but I thought that we should take it further than just using them as ornaments, but use the beads as a form of material that can be used into, as uh, a material of painting, rather than using the conventional painting we've been known for ages, for example, owls, uh, watercolor, acrylics, and many other which are coming. So I want to also use beads as a medium of painting. So I uh, deliberately put beads where I feel there is a skin. In doing so, I'm trying to activate the skin's activity in terms of expression. When we get sad, when we get what, we get uh, goosebumps. So those give, goosebumps are uh, means of expression. But we're not given skin enough leeway as a form of expression. So when I put those small dots, those vibrant colors, those uh, various colors, I'm giving a, a skin a chance of bring out the form of expression. And uh, what I do that when I come to the lips, when I come to the eyes, when I come to the clothing, then I turn it down with acrylic so that I can also balance and kill the monotony of use of beads. So this painting has been completed with the use of beads. Now, the rest of the patches of using uh, paint to uh, to finish it, I'll show you how I'm going to finish it in a bit. Thank you very much. I'm coming back.
Now, this is our painting where I've put paint in other aspects. For example, the eyes, for example, the, uh, the clothing, I've used the acrylic color, and then the lips to kill the monotony of the beads and the same time harmonize the painting to bring it out. Because if I had used um, beads to bring, out, to bring out the eye, it would have been so monotonous. And at the same time, if I use the beads to bring out, um, bring out the clothing, it would also be so monotonous. So I kill the monotony by putting paint in other parts of painting. And eventually I come up with such a beautiful expression of the painting and that's what it comes out like thank you very much for watching i'm james musokerule of james art i'm based in cape town thank you very much